I write from my passions, and my passions are wide ranging. Um, the blurb on the jacket for What Girls Do in the Dark says that um, this collection contains gothic imagination, mythology, the uncanny, science, astronomy, feminism, extinction. There's also uh, theology, um, some Easter eggs for film nerds, uh, the first law of thermodynamics, queer history, the art of digging a short drop toilet, um, the marvels of language, sickness and health, and sitting next to a star on the bus. Um, this isn't because I just want to cram everything in willy-nilly, it's because I am interested in connectedness. Um, and I think everything's connected. Um, we are connected. And I think that's really important. I write for connection. I write for communion. I want to invite the reader in and give them space to have their own thoughts. I want to write about what I don't know. I want to explore what I don't know. I want to explore the questions. Not to find hard and fast answers, but because I want to go on that journey and see what I find in the geography, the geography of what girls do in the dark. I'm particularly lucky to be in a library. Um, here I am surrounded by wonderful books. Um, libraries are very, very important to me. I grew up in a family that loved reading, but we couldn't afford books. And so one of my most important experiences and most exciting experiences as a kid was to go to the public library on a Saturday morning and get four new books every week. And all I had to do was read them and love them and enjoy them. And then I would take them back and get four new books. And uh, libraries are not just magical and important places, they're also dangerous places. Here I am, surrounded by ideas, surrounded by things that might change and transform me, transform the world, transform the way we think. Um, and it underlines the importance of words and why they are how I get through the world, how I negotiate the world. I have heard people say, you know, how can you write poetry? What is the importance? What's the point of poetry during hard times? One of my passions is that creativity, writing and words are a way through. They are a way to get through hard times and not just to record hard times but they are part of that process they are part of our resources part of our armor part of our nourishment um, and this poem says it all really Bede writes a history of the English people ask why I carve feathers to the spike of knives when men are too busy to read I should be bricking windows into arrow slots, should be bending you to longbows. The year roars with blood, the murder of faith and enemies close, closer. Kings hammer mistrust into swords, demand battle songs, and the world deafens with terror of one's neighbour. I turn to words. Their little lamps will outlive my flicker, that of lords and of this current fear. I grind gall, vinegar, hone my quill, feed the dark age with light.